Monopoly is a great thing. Things are selling no matter what the price. Oops, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, you best remember. Alright, let's have a look here. I think I'm going to wait a second here because um, I think the last time I did this, I brought the items I needed to buy and then there was a cutscene I could come back here and when I came back the items were a little bit cheaper. So in case I've, I've remembered that, that wrong, I'm going to wait a second, I'm going to trigger the next cutscene and then I'm going to come back. And if the prices are the same then obviously I'll buy what I need to buy. But if they're cheaper then that'll be another tip for you guys. Okay, let's move forward and find out who this uh, Mesa Keenock is. Obviously the high-ranking Yevon officials have turned out in force. The operation will begin shortly. Please check all your equipment. Mm. You alright? Of course not. I came here to fight Sin. But they stick me here! If you want to prove yourself. Huh? First, you must complete the tasks you are given. <laughs> that told him. Yeah, tough guy. Okay, he's, he's gone. Oh, he didn't listen to Aura. <laughs> oh! I had heard from Seymour, but I didn't know if we'd actually meet. Good to see you, Oren. Ten years, is it? <laughs> That's Wen Kinok, one of the four maesters of Yevon. He leads the warrior monks, and also commands the crusaders. All troops ready to move at your command, sir. Good. Dismissed. Sir! Tell me, Oren, where have you been the last ten years? We don't have time for this now, do we? This plan won't work, you know that. We'll just let them dream a little longer. What? Lord Keenock? Oh, yes. Proceed. That Keenock a maester? I heard that, Oren. A lot has happened the last ten years. What were you doing and where? Fulfilling a promise I made to a friend. I still am. Just tell me one thing. Have you seen Xanarkand? <laughs> I kinda... I think we don't belong here. It is time at last. We must tell the Albed waiting outside to begin the operation at once. The fiends may break through. This place is not safe. Make sure you're prepared to defend yourselves. Tell me when you're ready. Okay, here we go. This is the final kind of chance we get to roam around before the before the action starts. Let me just try and talk to people. See if they have anything to say. Kamara is still not talking to me. Fine. I'm a little nervous. Anything could happen. Make sure you're ready for combat. Hint, hint. Go to Yuna. Yeah, despite him saying that, that, that doesn't change what, what Yuna says. Where's Waka? I always forget where Waka is. Them here. It's like Yevon authorizes this whole operation. So yeah, you see, we've got two sides of the coin here. On the one hand, you've got Seymour, who's, uh, you know, they, at the end of the day, they're here, they're supporting the the effort. But on the other hand, Keenock is sure that it's going to fail. So at the end of the day, if you're sure that it's going to fail, then surely that's not a good idea to let all of these people fight sin if you know that they're all going to fail. Because if they fail, they're going to die. So what exactly are they playing at? Remains to be seen. So let's try Awaka again. Let's see if the prices are cheaper. If not, then it must have been just my memory. Which I wouldn't be surprised Welcome about. Welcome to Awaka's. 
Yeah, it's not cheaper. Fair enough. Okay, let's talk about these weapons. Counterattack speaks for itself. When you receive a physical attack, Titus will counterattack. So it's always a nice thing to have. Stone Touch. Now, Stone Touch is a pretty overpowered ability for, for this part of the game. Uh, Stone Touch has a 50% chance of petrifying the enemy, and when the enemy gets petrified, they shatter. So that effectively ends the battle. But the only problem with uh, the TKO is that you're not going to get overkills using it. So that's the only problem. You won't get the extra items and uh, AP associated with overkills. But the Stone Touch ability will get you out of trouble on more than one occasion. Um, you might want at least one person with a Confused Ward, but it's not really that important. Uh, this ability might come in handy. I mean, none of these are particularly... The TKO is obviously the standout weapon here. And let's talk about the Sentry. The Sentry has the Initiative ability, and Initiative... Basically, if, you, if someone in your party is equipped with an Initiative ability, that means that you do not get ambushed, ever. And that's why the ability uh, is worth quite a lot of money, and so is this weapon. So if you have the money, and uh, especially if you kind of find it difficult in the game, having Auron equipped with a sentry is a great idea, because then you won't get ambushed anymore, and that will reduce the chances of you getting killed before you can attack. So what I'll do, I'll buy a TKO, and I'll leave the I'll leave the Avenger. I'm going to quick work up with that as well. Let's see. Might as well sell a few excess things here. Obviously you can sell all of these originals. Unless for whatever reason you want like a perfect game file with all of the original weapons. I have no intention of doing that. Um, that's not bad. Two free slots, that's pretty good. Obviously at the moment we can't utilise these free slots, there's nothing we can do about them, but a time will come when we can, so don't worry too much about it. Okay, so we have another lightning strike weapon. Obviously, uh, you need to note the value of the items after you bought them. It's gone down by, I think it's about a quarter here, or a fifth. Yeah, it's gone down by about a fifth. So that's not good. Because I have no ability spheres, there's nothing I can do about Auron, unfortunately. But it was just going to be a HP boost anyway, and his HP is pretty good. So it's funny that Auron is weaker than both Waka and Kimari. Okay. Final checks, and then we'll head in. Why not? It looks a little bit cooler. Lightning ward is a good idea. HP is a better option because the enemy doesn't have a fire attack, so it's not going to help. So since this has a this is a bomb drop weapon and it has uh, I think about 12.5% more damage potential, it's actually a more powerful weapon than the Brotherhood. And the only time using the flame tongue is a problem is obviously if the if the fiend that you're facing has a resistance to fire damage. Okay, I'm saving and then we're gonna head on. And some very interesting things are gonna happen. I'd pay attention to some of what Oren says later on because he kind of sums up the situation with Yevon's presence pretty well. Okay, ready to roll. Are you ready? Yes. Mr. Kinock, please. Will Sin come? Sin always returns for its spawn. To make sure, we're going to encourage them to call out to it. You won't have to. It'll come. I remembered Oren telling me. Sin is my old man. Sin is jacked.
Okay, that didn't last long, so the operation started, and within 30 seconds already one of the Sinspawn broke loose. Fantastic. Now, this will be the first really genuinely difficult boss that you will face. And obviously the, the help text does help here. So, let's, uh, let's let it do some attacks and see what it's all about, and then we can... weapons look so much cooler when they have elemental abilities. So there you go, 700. That's a, that's a pretty big hit considering Tidus only has 966 HP. So, immediately, it might be a good move to power break the main body. And look at the damage he does here. <laughs> so the arms are for defense. Yes, good spot, Oren. I'm going to have the, the physical hitters out at the moment. And I'm going to use cheer as much as I can. So the head has 4,000 HP. 2,000 or 4,000? Let's double check that. I think it should be 4,000, but I don't want to get that wrong. 4,000, yep. So there's a total of 16,000 HP to be depleted here. And that's no, no mean feat. Immune. But um, what you're going to notice is an ability like Power Break, to be honest, it works against most bosses as well. Some of them have a resistance to it, but most of the time it works pretty well. Okay, so... God, I can hear that. Yeah. Okay, so the damage was halved, as you can see. I'm purposely not going to attack uh, the head, just so you can see the Venom attack. But if you're smart enough, then you'll never have to face that attack, but... Let's just see what it is all about anyway. The arms have 850 HP each, and in order to do physical damage to the main body, you're going to have to take the arms out first. But they're armoured, as you can see. He only did 143 damage, which is not good. Here it comes. So there you go. 550 damage plus poison. So that's pretty. That's a pretty bad thing. But the solution is very easy. If you don't want to face that attack, then all you have to do is just um, is attack the head before it uses venom. And obviously we have haste, so life is going to get progressively easier for us as we move on. We have plenty of high potions, might as well make use. You want to knock the arms out at the same time because uh, those arms are going to come back. They're not, um, they don't stay down forever. So you need to be careful. Obviously these boys have terrible evasion, so they're not going to be able to evade the, the physical attack that often. Okay. I think you all know what I'm going to do this time. I'm actually going to wait for a second. There we go. Thanks to the cheers as well, I'm almost doing 500 damage. So that's not too bad at all. Demi, as you all know, is 25% of your current HP, so you're never going to die as a result of a Demi, so you don't have to worry about it. Oh yeah. Shit, Tyus is in danger. Okay, that's enough cheers. Now what I'm going to do is let loose with Auron and take out everything and that way the arms should go and then I can launch an all out attack on the body. There we go. So it didn't do a crazy amount of damage but it was enough to take the arms out. Okay, I'm going to swap out for... Actually, there's no point. 
But let's just do as much damage, damage as we can and we'll eventually get the others in to, to do a bit of extra damage as well. You see, because of Cheer as well, at first it was doing about 350 damage and now it's gone down to 227. So it makes a big difference. So just every time Waka hits the he hits the head to stop Venom, I think by the eighth one it's going to be dead already. So nothing to worry about. So I'm just going to keep attacking the body until the arms regenerate. Okay, let's see how far we've got. 1590 and... Okay, we've done quite a bit of damage. Good stuff. So it doesn't matter what... So it doesn't matter if it's a physical or a magic attack, it's still going to work. Let me get Lulu hasted up. Even then, she's still pretty slow. But there's that evasion. You gotta love it. Okay, hopefully if I can do over a thousand, that should be enough to get an overkill on the head. But I've never, I've never been very good at element reels, so hopefully I'll be able to get all three the same. Because if you want the highest uh, amount of damage, that's what you're going to have to do. Okay, focus. There we go. Hopefully this is an own kill. Yep, good stuff. Um, who hasn't had an attack yet? Might as well get Kimari in. But as you can see, haven't struggled too much. It, it's that haste, I mean, the extra turns that it gives you, it really gives you time to heal and prepare and attack. That's why I've always said that haste is so important. Okay. Obviously, when Lulu's around, the arms don't matter, because it's going to go straight through. Let's see if uh, Valifor's overdrive is enough to, to finish it off. Yeah, they've had some uh, HP boosts, so obviously they've gained in strength a little bit. You see that I, for I forgot to do it again, you see? And after this one, there's going to be cutscenes and stuff as well, so I guarantee I'm going to forget again. I don't know how I made it through school with this uh, level of forgetfulness. Okay. Might as well show you guys energy way. I don't think I've used it. Hopefully it's still enough to kill it. <laughs> Otherwise Valifor will likely die. Well, okay. Good stuff. Since Born Gui, done.
that was the first time we got a glimpse of Sin itself. What a beast.